I was dreaming right. Um, I, oh, I don't know, but I just can't remember much of it. But basically, in this cheap pub restaurant, and my mum was ex mum was running in and out of the restaurant as if it was the most hurrying situation ever. And I've never seen her hurry do anything. I've never seen her hurry ever, right? And that's what was so strange. And she said, and then all this food started coming to us. And it was like a help yourself thing. And it was soup and food and food. And it was a three course meal for five pounds. I heard her saying, is it still three course? She said, can we have some and take some away? Take some away with us like this. And I was like, okay. And I sat down and she said, um... Then all of a sudden, a woman called Lorna and another woman called Myra came in with another Jehovah's Witness woman called um, Liz Goodwin. And they came and sat right... Lorna and Myra sat squashed right me in, sitting too close to me. But before that, it was just me and my ex-mum, right? And she gave me this baby. And in the, in the dream, it was like supposed to be my baby and she was babysitting. And I looked at the baby and it was so ugly, you wouldn't believe. I mean, really ugly baby, right? And I went to pick the baby up, but my arms were so weak, I thought, I'm going to drop this baby in the soup. Like, I can't even carry this baby. And that's the way I exactly felt when they took my, when, when they wouldn't feed me or my baby before, right? The social work. My arms wouldn't carry her. And I thought, how am I, I can't, I'm too embarrassed to say I'm going to drop the baby in the soup and it'll get burnt. How can I say I can't carry my own baby? They'll take it off me. So I took, so anyway, I held the baby, but the baby was so ugly and it started licking my face, but it was cute and it, it turned a wee bit cute and was kissing me, like, oh, so cute. Like, proper kissing me and kissing me like he'd missed me. And Mum's like, oh, look, baby missed you, as if it, she'd been babysitting my baby. And then, um, then um, she started, she kept moving my plate away from me and I was so hungry and I'd literally eat one chip and I'd suck a wee bit of the chip, like I, I, I eat a little at a time, right? I would eat a little bit of chip and then she would move the plates round and I had to have a little bit of soup. And then I couldn't get satisfied from anything I was eating. It was a tiny bit, a tiny bit. Jim, could you shut up? This is my neighbour who talks through his spade, his lawnmower, his bin. Can you hear his bin? Can you hear his bin? Do you want to see him? Because he just will not leave me alone. He likes a lot of attention. There he is. There he is. He's just been washing his walls. And that's what you do first thing in the morning, isn't it? You wash your walls. Anyway, I just have to give him attention. You know, can you hear his bins? That's him shaking his bin now. That's shaking the bin. That's a normal thing to do, isn't it? 